Hello everyone, I have our groceries for this week. I did a Walmart delivery order today and the total was $219, but that included the tips. So if you don't include that, then my total was $199. Our family is a family of five. We have three kids, me and my husband, and these are just going to be some ingredients for our meals this week and for school lunches and snacks for the kids so just like last week i got some great value tortilla chips they were really good and we went through them really fast so i got three bags this week um, we got a bunch of bread we got bread for sandwiches the nature's own butter bread we're going to be doing hot dogs or no bacon wrapped hot dogs and mac and cheese one night so these are the hot dog buns um, I got some flour tortillas. This is for one night. We're going to be doing stuffed bell peppers with quesadillas on the side. I can't guarantee that my kids will eat the stuffed bell peppers, but of course we will offer it to them. And I'm just going to have the quesadillas on the side as like a safe food. We have our usual mini bagels and cream cheese for breakfast or after school snacks. Another order of the fun shaped mac and cheese. We just have one more from last week. On the Walmart app, I did see a Spongebob shape, but it wasn't available for pickup or delivery, but hopefully that comes to my store soon. I think my kids will really like that. We got some baby pouches for my one-year-old. Some days he's picky. He's just really teething right now. He's always got his finger in his mouth, and sometimes he doesn't want whatever we're having. And down here I have the little cartons of the organic low-fat chocolate milk. Then we have these cereal bars for the kids. I have the strawberry and the blueberry. My son really likes those. My daughters like these Pocky snacks, so I just got them one of each. My oldest likes the strawberry flavor, and my middle girl likes the chocolate flavor. We can move on to the produce. I got some Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. This is gonna be for one night when we do a garlic butter mushroom pasta. I think the kids will really like that. I don't think they will like the toppings, but they can always pick that out if they need. Needed more garlic for cooking, and then I got two lemons for my water. We also got some green seedless grapes. I was hoping that my shopper would pick out some good ones and these look nice and crunchy. I'm just glad to have another produce to add to my daughter's lunchbox and my three-year-old also likes to snack on that. I got some strawberries, but I've been having a lot of bad luck with strawberries. I think I should just wait until it's really strawberry season, um, but I will just hope that these are sweet and good enough for my girls. We have two bags of the rainbow bell peppers. This is for the stuffed bell pepper recipe. I think I'm gonna make four, and then I'm gonna use the other two to add into the mixture that goes inside the peppers. Got some more avocados, and these look really ripe, so we should probably eat these soon. I'll just throw that in the fridge. And then back here we have organic bananas, some gala apples, and some spinach for sandwiches over here we have two cans of the mild diced tomatoes with green chilies that is part of the stuffed bell pepper recipe can't wait to make that we haven't had that in a while back here we've got some pretzels i'm gonna try not to pick it up and make too much crinkly noises i have my two favorite coffee creamers from the silk brand it's the almond creamer in the sweet and creamy flavor we always have that on hand and we actually ran out yesterday so we actually had to grab some starbucks before this order came in and we don't normally do that we're really good about drinking our coffee at home so i made sure to get two of those today one for a backup we also have some Pringles, uh, barbecue Pringles for snacking this week. Over here, we've got another of the Lunchables, the small one that I got for my daughter last week. She really enjoyed it. She came home with like black all over her lips from the Oreo cookie, but I'm glad that that worked out for her. And I just got one this week because my middle girl who I also get it for, she actually doesn't really like it. So she just ended up wasting it. Basically just ate the Oreo. Over here, we've got some fresh ground turkey. This was a pretty good deal. It was $3.96, so I grabbed two. These are gonna be for the stuffed bell peppers and also for spaghetti. We've got the Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon. We currently have the ready-to-eat microwavable bacon in the fridge, but we like having the fresh one on hand too. So this is gonna be for breakfast. And also, one night we're gonna be doing breakfast for dinner because we don't normally finish the bag of tortillas so i figured one night we will do breakfast burritos for dinner and then also that's going to be for the 
bacon wrapped hot dogs. Got some more Black Forest uncured ham for homemade Lunchables for my daughter's lunchbox. And this was a hit last week. My husband and I really like this dip and it really saved me on some afternoons when I just had this as a snack. The last few things, we were almost out of our free and gentle bounce dryer sheets. So I got one box of those. My husband needed some new deodorant. And if you've seen my other hauls, you know this is the uh, brand that he likes and he likes the Fiji and the Pure Sport scents. We needed more Eggos, the chocolatey chip waffles. And over here we have the Welch's grape juice. I thought I'd switch things up in my daughter's snack and lunch box and give her a different juice. And my daughter's been requesting some sparkling apple cider. She had some during the holidays and so now she just asks for it every once in a while and I will just pick it up for her. I also got this cherry limeade. Who was I watching? remember but I was watching a haul last night and someone was talking about this and mentioned that it tastes like Sonic so I wanted to get this for my husband so, so this week I tried to fit everything on the table but um, I didn't want to risk this one so I just pulled it out of the freezer my daughter I guess she has a lot of requests but she was asking for mini ice cream sandwiches because my mom usually has this at her house so I got a box of the great value ones and they're a good size for little kids let me see how much sugar is in here. No, we don't need to know. So that was everything for this week. I was really happy to do Walmart delivery today. It just saved me a lot of time. I could stay here and clean and do what I need to do. Really appreciate you guys watching. And in case I haven't introduced myself, of course I would do that at the end of the video. But my name is Katie and I am a stay-at-home mom. I live in Southern California and I really enjoy watching grocery hauls and learning what people feed their young kids or school-age kids and their families. So I just thought I would join the community and I just really appreciate you guys watching and all the kind feedback that you guys have been giving me. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching my video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.